I need to make some icing for a cake I just made. Let's check out this cookbook. So it says here that I can make some cream cheese frosting, um, but then I need eight ounces of cream cheese. Shoot, I've got 16 ounces of cream cheese. I guess I can't use this recipe? No, of course you can. There's a way for you to adjust a recipe to use the ingredients that you have on hand. Or if you read down a little further, it says that uh, this frosting recipe will make 16 servings. Well, my family only has four people in it. Do I need to find a recipe that has cream cheese frosting for four people? No, we can just adjust the recipe to um, use less ingredients and therefore make icing that will serve only four people. Okay, let's take a look at some of the math that will enable us to do that. So the issue is that I have 16 ounces of cream cheese that I want to use up, but the recipe only calls for eight ounces of cream cheese. And I need to find a way to adjust what I'm doing so that I can use the, all of the things I want to use and still follow the recipe. There's a couple ways to do this, uh, but the way that I'm going to start off with is uh, ratios. So the first thing you need to do is figure out how you're going to build your ratio. Um, it actually doesn't matter as long as you are consistent. So for the first one, I'm going to say that I'm going to take everything in the recipe and I'm going to put it on the left and all of my stuff I'm going to put on the right. Okay, so the recipe says that eight ounces of cream cheese, I'm going to abbreviate it CC, um, is related to one tablespoon of milk. Okay, so one tablespoon of milk. We could do other ingredients, but let's just start with the first one. So with my stuff, I have 16 ounces of cream cheese, and I want to know how many tablespoons of milk I'm going to need. So I built my ratios. 8 is to 1, as 16 is to x. And now I'm going to need to cross multiply. So if I cross multiply this way, I'm going to get 16 times 1, which is 16. And that's going to be equal to 8 times x, which is 8x. Now, in order to figure that one out, we're going to have to get x by itself. So let's divide both sides by 8. And you wind up getting x equals 2 tablespoons, or teaspoons, sorry. Now, if you're pretty sharp, you already realized that 16 is twice that. So if I went 2 times my eight ounces, then I'm gonna to have to double every one of these things, right? So if you recognize that, you could take the shortcut and just say, look, I'm gonna need two tablespoons of milk and two teaspoons of vanilla and eight cups of powdered sugar. Boom, it's done. Um, but as these problems get harder and as these problems become more and more like chemistry, you're not gonna see that right away. So what I want you to do is to develop some kind of mathematical help that you're gonna be able to use. And you wanna do that now while the problems are simple and you can do them in your head. Um, that way you get the technique down and so you're more confident about it as we move forward. Now there's another way to build the ratio. So I wanna set that up for a minute here. Um, we could do it as let's put all the same stuff on the same sides of the ratio. Okay, so I'm going to say this equals that, and let's say we take 8 ounces of cream cheese, so 8 ounces of cream cheese, and I want to keep all my cream cheese over on the left. So I've got 16 cream cheese, ounces of that cream cheese there, and now we're going to say, well, what does the recipe say about, let's do powdered sugar this time. So the recipe says that I need four cups of sugar. So then you have to ask yourself, well, how many cups of sugar will I need if I use my 16 ounces? So if you look at it, 
This is all um, cream cheese. So this is the cream cheese side. And this is the sugar side. And if you look at it this way, this top part is all the recipe. And all of this down here is my stuff. So it's similar to what we did last time. I just rearranged my ratios. The key is that as long as you are consistent on both sides of the equal sign, it's not going to matter how you set it up. So again, we already know that I need to double this. So I should wind up getting eight cups of powdered sugar. But let's do the math and see how it works out. So if I cross multiply here, I'm going to get 16 times 4. That's 64. And if I cross multiply this way, I'm going to get 8 times x. And I need to divide both sides by 8. And that's going to tell me that x is equal to 8 cups of sugar. Now, I already knew that. Um, so did you. But again, it's just another technique for helping you to find these things. Now, I'm going to show you one last way. Some people do not like ratios. It drives them crazy. So I'm going to show you another way. Um, this one has some pretty strict rules. So if you're going to follow this one, you need to follow the rules every time. Um, you start with whatever you were given. Okay, so the problem says that I want to use up all 16 ounces. So I'm going to put my 16 ounces of cream cheese um, over top of a 1. This is called a factor label method. You start with what you're given, um, and it's really important that you write the labels afterwards. Now, we want to multiply by a fraction. Um, so let's pick something here. Let's do, we haven't done vanilla yet. So we're going to solve for how much vanilla I'm going to need. So I want a fraction right here that will help me to get rid of ounces of cream cheese. So I need to put ounces of cream cheese down in the bottom so that they'll cancel out. And I need to get teaspoons of vanilla up top because I want that to be my answer to my question. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the, the recipe and the recipe says eight ounces of cream cheese is the same, Will is equivalent to one teaspoon of vanilla. Basically, in one recipe, you need eight ounces of this and one teaspoon of vanilla. So that is like a, a unit. It's one recipe. Okay, so if we look at the math on this, my ounces of cream cheese are going to cancel out because I have ounces of cream cheese on the top, ounces of cream cheese on the bottom. Um, and... To, when you do the math on this, to multiply fractions, you multiply across the top. So 16 times 1 is 16. Um, and the only unit that survives is the teaspoon of vanilla. Oops. And then you multiply across the bottom. 1 times 8 gives me 8. And there are no surviving units on the bottom. So my answer is 16 divided by 8 teaspoons of vanilla, which you can do the math in your head, hopefully, is 2 teaspoons of vanilla. Again, you already knew that. It's pretty simple. Um, but this is a technique for when questions get more difficult. You can use this factor labeling um, to actually make it through. One last thing I want to show you um, is, let's see if I can get this to move forward for me. Okay, here we go. Um, so this time, the recipe says that uh, it makes 16 servings. So if you read through this whole thing here, you're going to see right here that if I mix eight ounces and one tablespoon of milk and one teaspoon of vanilla and four cups of powdered sugar, I will make 16 servings of icing. And that's like way too much. I don't want 16 servings. I only want four servings. So well, servings are not part of the recipe, are they? Sort of. Um, this is what the recipe is going to produce. So if I want to make less, I don't need to find a new recipe. I just need to scale down the one that I have. So I'm going to use a ratio again. Um, and I'm going to put all the same things on the left-hand side. So... 
I'm going to start by saying, well, the recipe says that I make 16 servings. So here's 16 servings. And I want to make four servings. Okay, so I put all my servings on the left. And I'm going to change color here. Where did the 16 servings come from? That was the recipe. And where did the four servings come from? That was me. So on the other side of this fraction, I want the recipe part to be on the top. Oops, recipe. And I want my stuff to be on the bottom. So let's say I want to know how much powdered sugar I should use. Well, the recipe says that 16 servings requires four cups of powdered sugar. So how much will I need? I don't know. I haven't done the math yet. So I'm going to put an X in there. Now we got to do some math. So we're going to cross multiply. Four times four gives me 16. And that's equal to 16 times X. And to get X by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 16. And X is going to be equal to one cup. Now, let's see if you could do, have done this one in your head. Um, I want to make 16 servings, or I'm sorry, the recipe says to make 16 servings. I only want to make four. So how do I get from 16 to four servings? Well, I have to divide by four. So I'm going to do that for every single thing up here. So if I took four, my four cups, and divided it by four, I would get one cup of powdered sugar. So I'm gonna get one cup right here. So you could do it in your head and just figure out like, oh, I only need one fourth of the recipe. So what's one fourth of four? Well, it's gonna be one cup. Um, so you can do the same thing with servings. Um, it's just math. Uh, you can also do the same thing with factor labels. So let's do that one really quickly. Um, so for this, I take what I'm given, I wanna know what four servings will be. So in a four factor label method, I would do four servings, put that over top of a one, and now I have to go to the recipe. Um, so let's figure out how much milk I would need if I only wanna make four servings. So go to the recipe, I wanna get rid of servings. So servings have to be on the bottom so that they cancel out, and milk has to be on the top so that it survives and gives me an answer. And the recipe says 16 servings, right? 16 servings and one tablespoon. One tablespoon. Okay, so let's do some math. The servings are gonna cancel out. One serving on the top of a fraction, one serving on the bottom of a fraction, they cancel. Um, my tablespoons of milk, Nothing can cancel there. So now I have to multiply my fractions. So let's take the numerators and multiply across the top. Four times one is four. And tablespoons of milk survive. And multiply across the bottom. One times 16. That gives me four sixteenths or one quarter tablespoon of milk. But since we're in a chemistry class, don't really like fractions. Um, so we're going to convert that to a decimal and say, I need 0.25 tablespoons of milk. Okay, again, I'm sure you can do a lot of these in your head right now, but I'm trying to prep you for the future. Pick a method, try and use ratios, try and use factor label to solve these problems. Good luck, everybody.